Not so. Uh, can you see my screen? Uh, or no. Let me. Okay, how si. about there? See, si, or see. Si. Okay. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, the, over here is so cold, but I definitely prefer a cold weather because I don't get to sweat so often. I hate ah, to be sweating. Where is now in uh, Linha? Uh, where I told where, where I was yesterday. Uh, uh, I'm in Santa Elena. Oh, bueno, bueno. Y es una casa de tu padre? Uh, no, it's a friend. It's a oh, friend. Okay. But, uh, I, I actually met him when I was still learning English 10 years ago. Okay. So, uh, yeah, like we kept in touch and stuff. So it, it's really fun around here. Like he's really cool and uh, we really get along with one another. So yeah, it, it's really nice. Like I, I told you that I'm, I'm thinking about moving here. Jeez. So... So I'm still thinking. I think I'm going to try it out for about six months. Next six months is till December. So I'll be kind of coming back and forth from sí. from Bello till here. So the idea is that I sort of make a transition, if you will, of of that. Like maybe I'll spend a week here, maybe another in Bello, and eventually the idea is to entirely move move over here. Like, ah, sí, sí. like it's it's more of an, an emotion emotional attachment that I've got that than a real reason that <laughs> that that to to be in bed. Like, there's no reason for me to stay there. There are more reasons for me to come here to move here. But, okay. but you know, you get attached to, or at least me. Like, I've always been moving from place to place, so I kind of got attached to that to that place um, because it's uh, one of those, and and it was the first place that. It's it's been the first place that I had um, living by myself, wow, so I really got attached to that one. But um, I think I'll have to let it go. But let's see. <laughs> uh, ¿Qué barrio um, creas en? Creas? Uh, like, did I did I live in Bello? Do do I live in Bello? No, like did you grow up in Bello? Well, you could say that. Um, but I mean, I've been, I mean, I like first 12, uh, yeah, like first 12, 10 years, I, 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 I was in Bello, but I was still moving from place to place. Like it, it was either with my grandma, with my mom, with my dad. Then I moved, I moved to Medellin with my mom for seven years. Then I moved back to Bello. I lived with my dad like for three years, and then I've been living on by myself last five years. So, sí, sí. so yeah, that's that's it. But yeah, I I sort of got attached to that place. I, I think that's the reason why we're just like, it's stupid. Like <laughs> I think about myself. I know it's stupid because I mean, if I if I if I take a list, if I write a list of the cons and pros of each place, there are definitely way more pros. And less cons here in Santa Elena than than there are in you know in Bello. <coughs> but well, I mean the only con about living here is that I would have to cook. <laughs> sí, sí. Because no, there is it's, it's muy grande. It's, it's, it's muy grande. Like that's a very big one. <laughs> that's the only thing. That's actually the only thing. The rest of it, like the quality of the air, like it's all mountains. I showed you yesterday, right? Like the view sí, that sí. I've got from here. And it's really cool. Like, I think just the quality of her makes it worth. Like, uh, and 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 I'm lucky to have this friend here because to be able to live in this area, you would have to be wealthy. Like oh. this, this area is 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 where wealthy the wealthiest people in Antioquia in the state live. I would say, I dare to say. Okay. So, so and and and, and for me, it wouldn't have any difference in the cost. I, I, my cost of living would be the same one. So ah, sí, sí. that's a huge advantage. So um, that's pretty much it. Let, let's see. Let's see. I'll eventually tell you that I already moved. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So let's have a look at this. Um, let me see. En casa. Let's do some en casa. Let's do the whole unit. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> okay. So we should buy a more more than, how would you say this one? Um, <coughs> debiéramos comprar un nuevo um, 
Libraría Moderno por la sala. Deberíamos comprar una librería. It's feminine. O oh, libra, librería. Más moderna. Más moderna. Para la sala, ya. Yeah. Para la sala. Ok, once again. Deberíamos comprar una librería más moderna para la sala. Debiéramos comprar una librería más moderna para la sala. Repeat after me. Deberíamos. Deberíamos. And librería. Librería. Good. <coughs> ah, necesitamos que alguien repare el lavabo. Necesitamos que alguien repara, repare el lavado, lavabo. El, el lavabo. Yeah. El lavabo. I would never say that word. Like, I, I, would, I wouldn't know how to translate that last one, but uh, what's your guess? Um, we need <laughs> someone who can repair the sink. The sink, right. We need someone to... Ah, oh, the, 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 the student is surpassing the, the, the teacher. <laughs> no, no, no. So no. we need someone to repair the sink. We would say here in Colombia, mm, la canilla. La canilla. Okay. La canilla. La canilla. Or oh, we will also say la llave. As in the key. Ah, la llave. Yeah, that, that's what we would say. We would never say lavabo. Like, see, I, I didn't, I was like, how would I translate it? But, okay, good. The next one. Uh, I don't want to share an apartment with anyone. Um, no quiero. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice to share? No quiero compartir. No quiero compartir un apartamento con alguien. Un apartamento con alguien. Good. Eh, that's in. ¿Alguna vez compartiste eh, un apartamento con, con algún amigo? Uh, sí, sí. En la universidad. ¿En la universidad? ¿Por cuánto tiempo? Uh, por tres de mis cuatro años. Por tres años. Por tres de cuatro. Por tres años de cuatro. Por tres años de cuatro. Okay, so <clears throat> it says that it's incorrect. Now, the most natural way in Spanish is the one that is shown in, in red letters. Oh, okay. okay. But, but technically speaking, that is mistaken. That's, uh, that's, that's not grammatically correct. Like, it's alguien, definitely. Now, the thing is that the incorrect way has been used for so many years, so many decades. That, that that when you say alguien, it doesn't sound natural. Like okay. someone who is who is very poorly educated, <clears throat> they might actually correct you, try to correct you. They might say like, oh, that's incorrect. <laughs> and you'll be like, oh, shit. <laughs> okay. like, you will just let it go. <laughs> sí, sí. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. I actually say alguien because... And when I'm talking to, to, to relatives, I'm like, hey, no, you, you, you must say alguien. It's not nice. That doesn't make any sense. I'm like, hey, like, analyze it. Like, just, just pay attention to what you're saying. doesn't make sense. Because so, alguien es, es mejor o menor? Grammatically speaking, it's better. And if you're talking to someone who's educated, they will realize that, that, you're, that you like speaking appropriately, like, correctly. Uh, sí. So I think, very personal opinion though, uh, that the like the people like me are trying to to kind of make that change in the language. We're trying to make it better as as, as the language evolves. Do you understand what I mean? Sí, like sí. we know it doesn't sound natural, but we want the correct way to be natural. Sí, sí. Okay, that that's kind of what I've realized at least with the with the people who are teaching. Spanish or English that they're kind of helping people even if they're not taking lessons just with friends or relatives or maybe just acquaintances it's like hey no you should say this it's 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 better to say it like this i know it's not natural but that's the idea that the, that the correct way is also natural okay, okay see there are for some reason there are some things that feel right that change at least it's a, again very personal opinion 
that for example that it's something that doesn't make sense so i think it's just okay to try to change that habit from the people around us that's what i, I try to do <clears throat> So uh, check this one out. Uh, oh, well, this is actually the same example, isn't it? Sí, no quiero compartir un apartamento con nadie. Con nadie. Yeah, so what's that in English? I do not want to share an apartment with anyone. I don't want to share. I don't want. I don't know why I always. I say them, but I don't type them. Sí, I don't sí. Want... No, it's natural. <clears throat> I don't want to share. An apartment, apartment, apartment with anyone. Yeah, because if you say um, con nadie, that's as though we said with anyone, with nobody in English. Oh, sí, sí. Um, so this one, why do you want a plastic tea set? Okay, uh, ¿por qué quieres un... Um, Uh, set de té plástico. ¿Por qué quieres un set de té de plástico? Good. <clears throat> so, este es el hogar más hermoso que he visto. Este es el hogar más hermoso que he visto. This Good. is the... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice hogar? O got a home. Oh, home. Um, this is the most beautiful home that he he saw. That I this saw. Is, I have seen. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is the most beautiful home I've seen. Yeah. Nice. Uh, he, came, uh, he came home after buying the construction equipment. Okay. Um... El volvió después. El, el vino uh, dis, después comprar el hijo. Después de comprar el equipo. No, es por el equipo de construcción. Construcción. <clears throat> okay, so again, el vino a casa. El vino a casa. Después de comprar. Después de comprar. El equipo. El equipo. De construcción. De construcción. So every time you 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 run into Q U together, the pronunciation of that is like key. Key, sí. sí. Yeah. El equipo. Key, construcción. Sí, yeah, and Q U E is K. Okay, sí. Good. Um, okay, podrías pedirle a tu hermano que lo repare. So, how do you say this? Um, do you could pedirle? I creo que pedir es to lose. Uh, pedir is either to beg, to ask for, to order something at a restaurant. Oh, okay. Could you ask your brother to fix it? Your brother? <clears throat> yeah, your brother. Could you ask your brother to fix it? Good. You finally got the subjunctive trigger right. Could you ask your brother to fix it? Ah, uh, I see. <clears throat> this is one of those triggers. Um like the verb object pronoun and two sí, sí. then that's a that's a, a, a subject pr um trigger One. um we need to repair the shelf or it'll break okay um necesitamos reparar este como se dice shelf necesitamos reparar esta repisa esta esta repisa o oh, lo eh, lo rompo lo o oh, sé que romper se quebrará 
<clears throat> is one way. Or the other one would be o se romperá. Okay. Okay, so remember, will break, quebrará, or romperá. Okay. Sí. So once again, necesitamos reparar esa repisa o se quebrará. O se quebrará. Necesitamos repar reparar esta repisa o se quebrará. Great. <clears throat> ¿Por qué el reloj de plástico es más caro que el de plata? Eh, ¿Por qué el reloj de plástico es más caro que de la plata? Why is the plastic watch as expensive as the metal? Uh, more expensive. More expensive. Oh, más caro. Why is the plastic, yeah. Why is the plastic watch? Now, remember that reloj is also a clock. It can oh, be clock. the translation for either word. Uh, so why is a plastic watch more expensive than the silver one? Oh, than the silver one. Let's see. The silver one. Um, so why is a plastic watch more expensive than the silver one? Once again, ¿por qué el reloj de plástico es más caro que el de plata? ¿Por qué el reloj de plástico es más caro que el de plata? De plata. De de plata, yeah. So, a quick question. Um, <clears throat> what, um, eh, ¿Cuál ha sido el, el accesorio más caro que has comprado en tu vida para ti? Y dame uh, otra vez. Yeah, ¿cuál ha sido el accesorio para ti más caro que has comprado? Uh, no sé, porque no tengo muchas cosas uh, más caro. Um, es posible, uh, mi ventas de sol es 200 dólares o más. ¿Qué cosa? ¿Qué cosa? Uh, mi gafas de sol o mi... Ah, ya, 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 mis gafas mis de sol. Mis gafas. Sí, 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 sí. Pero ah, es una les... cosa, uh, yo, yo creo que es, es más importante para mí. ¿Por qué? Uh, porque cuando tenemos mucho sol, uh, es horrible por mis ojos, like... I, okay. Like when it's really sunny, I hate it. Like I, to be outside where you can't see. So, so have they got your eyes formula at the same time? Um, sí, uh, es porque es, eso es más caro porque um, uh, yo tengo un gafas de sol uh, con mi prescripción. Yeah. So like I had a pair, I guess the first pair I've ever had, but they're really good. <clears throat> yeah, I, w I was thinking about that because, yeah, but just that fact of, of, of being like sunglasses and have the prescription, that, that makes them sort of expensive sometimes. Sí, I, sí. I actually need to change mine and get one of those as well. But sí. I, I've been lazy to get them, especially with this pandemic shit. Oh, um, sí, sí. So, <clears throat> but, but I need to do it. So he should get a wooden table, not a plastic one. Okay. Um, debería, el debar, debería un mesa de una mesa. Oh, da, he should conseguir una mesa de mata. De madera. A mata is a plant. Oh, <clears throat> más, mesa madera. Oh, wait, wait, de madera, de madera. De madera. No plástico. No una. No una plástico. De plástico. Plástico. Once again, él debería conseguir una mesa de madera, no una de plástico. Él, él debería conseguir una mesa de madera, no una de plástico. Sí. Sweet. Eh, this one, ¿por qué quieres un juego de té de plástico? ¿Por qué quieres un juego de té de plástico? Um, why do you want a... Plastic tea set? Exactly, why do you want a plastic... Tea set? Tea set. You know... A juego also is 
I don't know how do you say that in English as a matter of fact, but I'll try to make myself clear. Okay. So think about mechanics like your car, right? Sí. So probably like welding. Like think about welding, right? When you put like metal parts together with some metal sticky thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. So when you do that is because it's usually kind of, how do you say that? Like it's kind of... um. It's not adjusted. It's just like, how do you call that in English? <clears throat> like they're moving because the parts aren't like very tied to one another. Uh, how do you say that in English, Abe? Um, like bonded together, maybe? <clears throat> but they are not. Like they should, but they are not. Because it's it, because you probably bump into a into a hole and it kind of broke it or 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 put that the two parts, whatever they are, apart a little bit. Like it's not broken, but it's not as as adjusted as, as it should be. It's like so cracked. It, yeah, it's kind of cracked, so you need to wield it. See, si, see. Si. Yeah. So in that case, when that happens, you would say that that those parts have a juego. Oh, it's si. when 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 it's kind of like it's not adjusted. Like they need like they need to be adjusted. So here in Colombia, we would say that it's got a juego. Okay. Okay, that's a very strange use of that word, but it's also one of those. Like, it's the first time that I mention it, mention it with you, I think. This, yeah. That's one of the uses of that word, because I know that I, I, I haven't said it to anyone. Not that sí, I por recall. ejemplo, en mi bicicleta es un juego muy cerca de los perros. Es un juego cerca de los... ¿Qué? The thing you pedal? The... Ah, de los pedales. Pedals, los pedales. pedales sí. Yeah, exactly. For example, the pedals, they, sh they should be adjusted, right? But if sí. they're probably kind of moving back and forth from, from, the, from the inside to the outside, I mean, like, you can still pedal, but it's kind, sí. of, kind of uncomfortable because it's not adjusted. You would say that is a juego. Oh, okay, sí. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely it. So um, this is the most beautiful home I have ever seen. So este es la más uh, este hogar es más hermosa que he visto. Este es el hogar el hogar más hermoso masculine más hermoso que que he visto. Vi este es el lugar más hermoso que he visto. Okay, good. You know, I like I was um, at Marcia's place uh, like a month ago, and she's got a I don't know if it's the same name in English. We call them an Angora cat. Do you know what they what they are? No, I think it's no. Angora. I think it's Angora. It's some sort of a breed of cats. They're like a freaking lion, like a small freaking lion. It's so amazing. Like I saw this cat and it was like, holy shit! What, what, what about this cat? <laughs> I've never seen a cat like that. It's like it's like a lion. It's like so furry on the neck. It's like a lion. You've got to look them up on Google and <laughs> Angora. I think I'm, I'm going to I'm going to to show you. <clears throat> I think I think I don't I don't I'm not sure if that's the right name, but I oh, think so. Oh, it's loco. It's they're beautiful. I was like, wow, like I want a cat like that. I, I, sí. it's, it's they're, they're, they're so fancy. <laughs> yeah, this is the one. You see, I mean, it's amazing. Look at this white one. It's sí. just awesome. <laughs> it's sí, like a es, wild cat. Sí. Ca uh, me encanta con <laughs> las what? Gatos. Me encanta gatos. Yeah, they're low. Low maintenance. <laughs> yeah, and they're just cool too, you know. <clears throat> okay, so uh, let's do this one. The fork and the knife are made out of silver. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is something I really need to learn. Okay, ¿cómo se dice fork and knife? El tenedor. El tenedor y... Y el cuchillo. <clears throat> um, son hecho de plato son hechos, hechos de plata once again el tenedor y el cuchillo son hechos de plata 
El tenedor y el cuchillo son hechos de plata. Great. Eh, necesitamos que alguien repare el lavabo. Necesitamos que alguien repare el la lavabo. Lavabo. I, I don't know. We don't use that word. What was the one that I told you? Uh, Remember? Uh, we need someone to repair the... Um, la vara. La llave. La llave. La, the key. The key. La llave. Yeah. Someone to repair. Oh, what was the other one? I forgot the, the, the other that I told you. But there we go. Never mind. So <clears throat> we need someone to repair this sink. Uh, why is the plastic clock more expensive than the silver one? Porque es el reslo uh, plástico más caro que... El de uh, plata. Ah, you remember. <laughs> sí. So remember that plata is also a translation for the word money. Sí. Okay, but using that word might make you look greedy. And from a very personal opinion, I would recommend you to look at that way, to look at it that way. Okay. Whenever sí. someone says plata, I would highly recommend that you take him or take her as a greedy person, as okay. a cheap person, <laughs> because that's what most people think. At least that's a per per perception here in Colombia. Hey, uh, ¿Cómo es soles por dinero? Mm, what do you mean? Like uh, in la televisión, um, uh, la película um, Magnolia, es, uh, ellos hicieron... Um, Dinero es soles. Mm -hmm. So you're asking me where that currency comes from? Uh, is currency or just is that a word for money? Oh, no. That's uh, as far as I know, it's the currency, it's Peru currency, I think. Oh, duh. It looks I'm like, not sure. Yeah, that makes sense. See, I, see. I'm, not, I'm not sure if that's Peruvian or Chile. I'm not sure. I think it's Peruvian. See. Por yeah. ejemplo, es dólares aquí, es pesos en Colombia. Ah, uh, sí, soles. Yeah, that makes sense. Duh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a currency. I think it's it's per, per, Peruvian currency. Oh, duh. Yeah, sí, sí. <clears throat> so, ten cuidado con la platería. Ten cu cuidado con la platería. Yes, so, uh, what's this? Um... Careful con with the. Uh... They were cautious with the, chine like the plates. So mm. I mean, technically, that would be like take care with the clattery. That's like forks and knives and spoons, sí. right? Sí. But I mean, I know that in English we say be careful with. So. Sí. <laughs> be careful with the clattery. Por qué es tense? Cuidado. Mm, it just doesn't sound natural to translate be careful. If you were to translate that, the translation of this would be se cuidadoso. It's okay, okay. as well. Don't get me wrong. Uh, y, se cuidadoso. Y but la, no one... What? Uh, la primera palabra, ten. Ten cuidado. That would be... So, for... The translation of ten cuidado con la platería, if you were to translate that, that would be take care with the flat the, the, with the clattery. Okay. Right? Now the translation, the direct translation of be careful with the clattery would be se cuidadoso. Okay. Now es ten es tener. Ten is as in half or take, but as in kind of giving an order, an imperative sentence. Oh, see, sí, see. Sí. Yeah, so um, I think that in this case, um, I would I would just use the natural way. I like I like you to know, like you know that, that I like you to be aware of the right way, the accurate way, and the natural way. Those are the sí, three sí. things that, that I, I am always trying to teach you. And it's up to you whatever you want to use.
like well that that's your case and in, and that's usually most cases but as i was uh, telling another student um i think i i you saw you watched those lessons i'm not sure it was like two or three lessons that i was teaching him uh colombian slang uh, did sí. he watch those did he watch those uh see sí, sí. yeah i don't know if you saw the one that that he, that he was telling me like i want to know how to say this this stuff and it was like a mean shit to say Okay, see, see. Did, did, you, did, did you watch that one? That I was uh, like, hey, but but you're going to convey this this shitty idea. You're going to look like this. You're going to be. You're going to seem like an asshole to whoever see. you say this. And he was like, no, no, but that's okay. That's what I want to say. <laughs> see, see, see. So in that specific in that specific um, case scenario, uh, as as I told him and I shared that idea with Kathy and some other students, he's like, hey. I'm just teaching you how to be yourself or whatever you want to be in the language. I'm not here to teach you how to be a good person. If you want to be an asshole in Spanish, hey, I'll teach you how to be an asshole in Spanish. Sí, claro, claro. <laughs> I'll just teach you. That's that's my job, to teach you language. That's language. And there are assholes in Spanish, in English, in all the languages. So sí. <laughs> that, that was a very specific case scenario. As a matter of fact, she was telling, um, was laughing, oh, be careful with the silver. Ah. Oh. But would it be to the same idea to say the clutter, or did I misspell it? Uh, cool. I think it's C U L T. C U. You, you're you're um, plateria. Let's let's check it out. I'm I'm, si, I'm si. kind of because I would like to report that if uh, if if Duolingo is the one which clattery. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, clutter. Oh, I think it's just clutter, right? No. No. Huh. Um, Flattery? Cult, I think it's C U L T. C U L T. C U L C L T. Not... The first one there. Cutler. Ah, yeah. Cut. Oh, wow. I, I have always thought that it was the word, the way that I, that I spelled it. That I have spelled it. Okay. Cut. Cutlery. Cutlery. Ah, oh. okay, not perfect. Oh, but we would just say silverware. Silverware. See. Si. W a r y. W a r e. Silver. W a r e. Silverware. Ah, where? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. I also learned something in this lesson. Si, si. <laughs> so I don't want to share an apartment with anyone. Uh, no quiero. Um... Compartir un apartamento con nadie. Con nadie. So that would be the most natural way, which grammatically speaking is not correct, okay? Sí. Good. Um, esa platería es más bonita. Platería. Esta platería es más bonita. Um, this silverware is the most beautiful. Silverware is the most Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, come on. Ah, the silver is pretty. Is, 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 ah, it's más bonita, it's pretty. Yeah, you know why it's not the most? Because we haven't got the article there. It, it will have to have la, is la más bonita. Oh, sí. Yeah, so esta platería es la más bonita. Yeah, the most beautiful, is more beautiful, sí, sí. Yeah, exactly. So the silver is pretty. Okay. But this silver. Mm, okay. This is the most beautiful home I have ever seen. Um, esto hogar es más hermosa que he visto. Que he visto. Good. Um, no quiero compartir un apartamento con nadie. I do not want to share an apartment with anyone. I don't want. I don't want to share an apartment apartment with anyone. I don't want to share an apartment with anyone. Okay. <clears throat> Why do you want a plastic tea set? Um, ¿Por qué quieres un 
set de ti plástico. Un set, un set de té de plástico. De plástico. ¿Por qué quieres un set de té de plástico? Ok, once again. ¿Por qué quieres un set de té de plástico? Good. Ok. Eh, ¿Podrías pedirle a tu hermano que lo repare? Um, ¿Podrías pedirle a tu hermano que lo repare? Yeah. Um, good. Could you ask your brother to repair it? Ok, good. Could you ask your brother? Could you ask your brother to repair it? You know, as a matter of fact, on, on Thursday, that would be great. I mean, anyway, I'm going to record that lesson that I'll be having with Sebastian. Sí. Could you ask your brother to repair it? If you can attend, it would be so good because, because I'm going to be working with him what I call when I teach it in English conditional two. <clears throat> and sí. we'll be working on conditional three. What are those in, in for you that you're learning Spanish? Um, that's sub, th those are two different subjunctive triggers that you yeah. will definitely want to to know and learn very well because those are two of the most difficult subjunctive triggers to to learn and how to use learn how to use in Spanish. Okay. So see, see. so it, it, I hope you can make it. I hope you can make it because it's it's a really good lesson. A really good lesson. So Okay, see. And that lesson I only do it like well right now I'm kind of making a lot of progress with students. It's probably a lesson that I'm doing twice or three times a, a year. So it's oh, it's see. still rare. It's still rare. Like I used to do it like only once a year, if so. See, sí, see. Sí. So where should he put the bookshelf? Um a donde uh, debería donde deberías debarías oh no no it's we we speak about him him so donde debería debería um, donde debería poner la librería la librería la librería donde debería poner la librería good eh, debemos comprar un librero más moderno para la sala de estar. Um, should we buy a more modern shelf for the living room? So I want to check, I want to test Duolingo's boundaries. Because the vemos is we must. I would definitely say it's we must, but I think it's going to be wrong. It's going to say that it's mistaken. They're probably, they probably say it's we should, but let's see. So we must buy a more modern shelf for the living room. So let's do it again in Spanish. Debemos comprar un librero más moderno para la sala de estar. Debemos comprar un librario más moderno para la sala de estar. Good. Ah, you see? Sí. Freaking Duolingo. But no, you know what? That's what I wanted to check to, to, to report the answer that it should have been correct. As a matter of fact, I mean, el audio, ta, ta, ta. I mean, okay, yeah, that was it. Oh, we made so many mistakes. Too many mistakes. Ah, uh, sí. Yeah, never mind. Um, okay, that, let's have a look at the... At the applications that uh, do you remember that we we started reading some some quotes sí. the other day? So let's do that. Uh, I really like this because there are really nice quotes from books or whatever. So let's do this. Let's see how you do. So happy are those who take life day by day, complain very little, and are thankful for the little things in life. Okay, it's a good one. <laughs> Feliz son. Alquienes que toma vida día de día. Go on. Um, grita muy poco y tiene gratis por las cosas pequeñas en la vida. Okay, so I want you to repeat after me. Las personas felices 
Las personas felices son aquellas son aquellas que toman la vida que toman la vida día a día día a día se quejan muy poco se quejan muy poco muy poco y es muy poco. Ajá, y, y están agradecidos y están agradecidos 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 por las pequeñas cosas por las pequeñas cosas de la vida de la vida good good great um so let's do this one carries to express not to impress people when carries express truly people will get impressed naturally i don't even understand that again carries to express not to impress people when carries expressed la significa de eso es um, mucho gente uh, no usa uh, cuidado, care, um, es sentimiento, like they're not sentim, they're not like genuine about it, they don't really mean it, they just do that so others think they are nice or kind. Yes, kind of to show off. Sí. Okay, so when care is expressed, truly people will get impressed naturally oh okay curious to express not to impress people oh, okay okay let's do it okay in spanish um cuidado <laughs> es a uh, um sentir no a uh, como si se impress Uh, so let me just uh, think how I would translate carries to express. We would say like show that you care. That's how we would say it in Spanish. We wouldn't just say care. We would say we would be more specific. We would say okay. showing that you care. So how would you say that? Showing that okay. you care. Um. A demostra demostrar a que es mostrar, no sé, mostrar mostrar que te importa que importa que te importa que te importa is to express um, es para esperar expresar expresar no para no para impresar in, impresionar impresionar a la gente a la a la gente yeah a la gente when care is expressed so again we wouldn't say that we would say when you show that you care uh, cuando mor motar que tú Sentir. So that would, okay, when you show that you care truly, that's what we would say in Spanish. When you show that you care truly, so in Spanish that would be cuando muestras, repeat. Cuando muestras. Que te importa. Que importa. Que te importa. Que te importa. De verdad. De verdad. People will get impressed naturally. Now that we would say that. El gente will be. Um, la gente. La gente será. Cerraren. Eh, se impresionará. Se impresionará. I'm going to show you. La gente sí. se impresionará. Se impresionará. <laughs> That's a freaking long word in Spanish. Sí. Let's say it again. Se impresionará. Good, 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 good. Naturally. Uh, natural. Naturalmente. Naturalmente. Sí. I remember that the ly is uh, sí. is mente exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a meaningful life is not being rich, being popular, being highly educated, or being perfect. 
It's about being real, being humble, being able to share ourselves and touch the lives of others. So before we translate this one, <laughs> there is a saying that I, that I heard in English. I really liked it. Like be, hum like, be humble or you will be humbled. <laughs> Sí, sí, sí. <laughs> like, wow, the, the, the issue that I had, I'm going to tell you after we have stopped the recording, but it's, it, mm -hmm. it's got something to do with that. That, sí. that happened to me. That actually happened to me. That, that, that was um, the day before yesterday. Yeah, that I told you that, that I had something going on and it was like shit, some, some <laughs> serious shit. <laughs> and oh, and okay, that was sí, pretty sí. much, that was pretty much it. So, um, <clears throat> Let's do this one. A meaningful life is not. So let's do the saying that I just shared. Be humble yeah. or you will be humbled. Um, so to be, so ser, eres humble o se, se eres un humble? Se humilde humilde o oh. um, serías o serás o serás humbled humilde humillado humillado it sounds better in english because we use the same word in uh, in english It's, it's only a D that makes a difference. But I, this is how I would translate it. So, humilde o serás humillado. Sí, sí. Okay. Uh, now, let's do this other one. Okay. A meaningful life is not being rich, blah, blah, blah. So, how, how do you translate this? Un vida uh, con... Una vida con... ¿Cómo se dice meaning? Con significado. Con significado. Un yeah. vida con significado. Is not been rich. Uh, no es. No es. Rico. Being rich. No es ser rico. Ser rico. Um, being highly educated. Oh well, being popular, being highly educated. Okay. Let's keep the pin uh, because we already said it at sí. the beginning. So uh, let's just do popular, highly educated. Popular, or perfect. Yeah, highly educated. Con educación uh, alto. Altamente educado. Altamente educado. Ah. Yeah, I've got the dogs playing around me and they just hit me really strong. Ah, so no, sí. no es rico, altamente sí, sí. educado. Yo so go ahead, pronunciation. La perro de mi esposa ahora. <laughs> you're, only, you're only the owner to play with, with, with him. Sí. <laughs> yeah, no, I like este playing with un, them. Este es un buen perro. I like huge dogs, but they are like some sort of an animal uh, stuffed, like, how do you say a stuffed animal? Like sí, a living sí. stuffed animal? Sí, oh, <laughs> sí, me gusta, um, pero grande también. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, altamente educado and perfect. Yeah. Oh, perfecto. Good, it's about being real, humble, able to share ourselves and touch the lives of others. So it's so good. Oh, lo siento, lo siento. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm I'm like so chilling here as well. Like like I, I that's another good thing about this place that there are no cars around here. There is nothing. There is like like sleep here is like really high quality. Ah muy bueno. The air. I mean, I love the air. The air here it feels like so. How do you say that? So, so light. Sí, sí. Y, yeah. y tienes tu moto. Uh, um, I'm with Valerie. So we 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 actually came with um with two of the dogs. 
She's okay. got three and she's got three dogs. Uh, she left the other one at her place, but uh, her mom sent her a picture of the other dog. It's a small one, a schnauzer, schnauzer. See, uh, see. But she's so depressed because she she feels like abandoned because she took these two, and uh, the other and the other one is like so loving and she's all the time behind Valerie and and but she was like so depressed. Like her mom said that she isn't eating. So I was like, hey, next time we come here, you should bring her. Like, you, we should, you shouldn't have left her behind. And uh, she's also got another two, two cats. Well, those, we wouldn't bring them, but, but definitely the other, the other dog. So we came on the car. We came on her car. But, um, of course, if I move, I, I would bring my motorcycle. Okay, so. sí, sí. Pero ahora no tienes tu moto allá. No, but my friend, my the, the owner of the country house, um, he he's got a motorcycle. So we actually took a ride yesterday. We went to to uh, to the to to the to the city where the airport, where the international airport is, which is here in in the in Rio Negro. The name is Rio Negro. I don't know if you remember that the international airport is kind of outside of the city. Sí, sí, yo lo puedo, sí. So I'm very very near that airport. Ah, right bueno, bueno. I'm about 15 minutes from that airport. Like I'm in between that that airport and Medellin. Ah, okay, sí, sí. So 20 minutos. A Medellín. Yeah, yeah, roughly. So uh, let's continue. It's about being real, humble, able to share ourselves and touch the lives of others. La vida. Oh, no, it's about. It's... it's about. How do you say that? Es sobre, mm -hmm. será, es sobre ser real. Ser real. So what's another translation for about? What, what are the other translations for that word? Uh, about is de o sobre o... And the one that I want you to be using all the time. Así que? Así que so, as in therefore. Ah. But... But it it sounds similar. It sounds sí. similar, but um, it's uh, todavía? todavía is not yet ah. yet ah. <laughs> or still. Sí. Um, no, I understand. It, that's that's why this is a practice thing. You need to practice it and practice it over and over and over and over again a thousand times. This no, is not rocket no, no. science, but it's a lot of information to take in. Well, in my opinion, like if you ask me. I would say <laughs> that I've got a bad memory, but if I learned this language, then it means I, I haven't got it. You just need to be really focused to memorize all the words that you need to be, sí, that sí. you need to, to, to translate your speech into this language. So um, about, acerca de. Acerca de, okay, sí. Okay, and that's the one that I want you to be using. Es acerca it's... de, será real. Ser real. Ser real. Being humble. What is it? Ser humilde. 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 Humilde and húmedo is wet. Oh, sí. Okay, so watch those two. Humilde, humble, húmedo, wet. Okay. So, being able to share ourselves and touch the lives of others. So... Y hable a compartir nuestras y ser capaces, repeat after me, ser capaces, ser capaces de compartir, de compartir. You know, in Spanish we wouldn't say ourselves, we would say what, what is ours, but that would convey the same idea. That's how we would say it in Spanish, like to be, like being able to share what is ours. That's how we would say it in Spanish. So how do you translate that? <clears throat> y being able to share ourselves. Um, Ser capaces de compartir what is ours. Eh, cerca 
bases de compartir y que están que está nuestros What? you could say de compartir de compartir lo de nosotros lo de nosotros or you could also say lo nuestro lo nuestro y like, toque oh another way that I would that I would phrase it I would say and to be and being able to share our essence that's also okay. something that I would say to convey the same idea that ourselves is conveying. So how would you say that? Our essence. How would you say that in Spanish? Y nuestro esencias. Exactly. Ser capaces de compartir nuestra esencia. Esencias. Sí. Esencia. Esencia. Y toca la vida de los otros. Okay, repeat after me. Y tocar. Y tocar. Las vidas. Las vidas. De los demás. De los más. Okay. So you could say, you could say, de los demás. Once de again. De los demás. Yeah. De los demás. Or you could also say, de los otros. De los otros. Yeah. Now, de los demás sounds more natural. I think it sounds more natural, and I would definitely prefer to use that one. Okay? okay. And... When we say about, which one is it I need to use every time? Acerca de. Acerca de. Yes, because that's the most highly educated translation for that word. I, I would say that, that acerca de is more the translation for regarding. I think it's got the same vibe. Okay, see. Sí. I think it's got the same vibe, but I'm not sure how formal regarding sounds when I say it in English, like in a scale from one to 10, how formal does it sound? Uh, it's not formal. I mean, it could be, but it's not always. Like you could say that it's kind of in the middle of casual and formal. Si. Sí. So acerca de is that word. Okay, si. Sí. Acerca de is that word. Definitely is the translation for regarding, if you will. Uh, okay. So uh, let's have a look mean... at this one. And, okay. Uh, well be done for the day so tough times like physical exercise you may not like it while doing it but tomorrow you'll be stronger because of it good morning and have a nice day so sí. um, tiempos de es como uh, ejercicio físicamente okay wait so repeat after me los tiempos los tiempos duros de Ross. Son como. Son como. El ejercicio físico. El ejercicio físico. You may not like it. Um, no le gustaría lo. So repeat after me. Puede. Puede. Que no te guste. No te guste. Que no te guste. No te guste. Repeat after me. Que no te guste. Que no te guste. Exactly. While doing it. Um, mientras haciéndolo. Mientras lo haces. Lo haces. But tomorrow te... you'll be stronger because of it. Pero mañana estarás. Serás. Serás. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Más fuerte. Más fuerte um, acerca de eso. Por eso. Por eso. When you say because of it or because of that, the translation is is 99% of the time going to be uh, por eso. Okay? Sí. So, and when you use those two words because of, the translation will be por. Okay. okay. So, for example, if I said because of me, that would be por mí. Por mí. Okay. Good morning. Have a have a nice day. Buenos días. Tienes un día. Uh, uh, que, tienes un buen día. Que tengas. Que tengas un buen día. Un masculine. Que tengas un buen día. Un buen día. Espero que. Okay. Sí. <laughs> 
So, mate, uh, it was a really good lesson. Um, so I'll talk to you hopefully tomorrow to double check that you'll be attending Sebastian's lesson. And okay, uh, so. you will learn a lot. I hope you, you can make it. I really hope so because see, see. I want you to have that lesson as well. So um, I'll talk to you when I talk to you, okay? Okay, cool. All right. Okay, see. mate, have a nice day. Bye-bye.